Hello, and welcome back to Space Engineers. And, uh, so I have a plan. As you can see, I've moved the, the things over here. Uh, what I do want to do at this exact moment, I'm gonna move these over into this, because they don't need to be here at this exact moment. And I like to keep my inventory as clean as possible. Oh, oh another private sale. interests me. That That is a detour that I was not expecting. So I'm curious as what your guys' opinions on mods would be. I'm, if you've seen my Minecraft stuff, you know that whenever it comes to mods, I try to avoid anything too horribly overpowered. That said, I was just playing like randomly on a private pack lately on Minecraft. Well, not private. It was a public pack, but I was playing it privately with some additions. And not recording it or anything. And man, Project E, also known as, you know, Equivalent Exchange 2's, basically, successor. Well, not successor. That's the wrong word. It's a Equivalent Exchange 2 clone. Made for, I don't know if it was on 164, but I know it's on 17 for sure. And... Man, that the equivalent exchange two is the most overpowered piece of crap you've ever seen in your life. Holy crap! But anyhow, I I don't know what they're like. Obviously, my design I have there, I'm probably still gonna build it and play with it. But I'm likely to make another ship design if I end up playing with mods, because one of the mods that I've downloaded downloaded keep in mind this isn't minecraft where they're in, once they're you know in you have to use them they're there uh it adds sort of like a shielding but as far as i know it uses i should not uses is not the word I'm for. the word i'm looking for is requires power i believe pretty sure safe. No, not safe. Not safe. Crap. I forgot that it is immediately behind that thruster. I will get this private sale. Assuming it doesn't despawn on me for... because they like to do that. Let's not make the same mistake. Now that I've memorized the exact location of where the guns are that should make this less retarded. That's also what I get for discussing things. Uh, mods I will probably definitely put in, probably like after next, after this recording. Uh, cosmetic mods. One of which I think is going to make use of gravel, which if I ever actually do any mining myself, gravel is something I'm going to have a stupid amount of. Okay, okay, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Match the speed. Match the speed. You cannot match it. I obviously want to get closer to it. But, uh, it's concrete blocks. And then there's a few different types of, like, blocks, other block mods I put in that adds more cosmetic blocks. Those ones I'm definitely going to put in because I really like cosmetic blocks. But, like, a couple of the mods I downloaded were, like, new thrusters and stuff. Partly because, in my opinion, the current thrusters in here don't work very well on a large scale. So, yeah. They also have a slightly different, like, design type. Ooh, 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 ooh. I have to be very careful where I'm drifting there. Come on. Okay, so, um, yeah, yeah, that, that's the right way. 
doesn't matter that it's rotated from where it was before as long as it's facing the right way. I don't even need to weld it the whole way to be honest. And stop. And zoom. And whoop, whoop, reset camera. Aim at the base, turn the dampeners off. And it should be pretty simple to... Oh, no, 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 I didn't want to put the dampeners on. What a waste of everything. 19 hours fuel time, huh? Uh, 20 will be good. Uh, now. This is not where I wanted to be stuck. I wanted to go out the other side when I exited. meters and closing I'm gonna spend this time busting down the door mostly because this takes time and it's something to do while I'm waiting to get near my base Partly because the door is obnoxiously in the way. Okay. Uh, you know, honestly, if I manage to nail this asteroid and take off a solar panel, I'm not really gonna care. Okay, this is where I'm going to stop it for this exact moment. Why? Why can't you just function normally? Light armor. Deal with it. So, behind this interior wall, put out this catwalk. Oop, nope, I want to take out the interior wall, not the red armor block. Ten, because it hadn't really fired at me. This one, on the other hand, is probably only going to have nine. That's fine. It's a source of magnesium, so there's that. Okay, now we can just fly this in, because it should be good. You know, there's that little platform right there that's already perfect to be a giant grinder array, so maybe I should just make one. The question is, how many grinders can I afford right now? Uh, also, another mod I downloaded, which I'll probably put in, but I thought I would mention it first, it's a time saver. What it does is it, I believe it says that it modifies the speeds of all uh, assembler actions, basically assembly and disassembly, should be roughly ten times faster, uh, simply because it takes too long. Did I? Oh. Well, I just rammed the antenna into the light armor blocks. 
good to know. I didn't want that radio communication equipment anyhow. Okay. So I should probably fix these. Eh, slight little, nothing major. Granted, I didn't mean to do that, but I do have some issues with depth perception, so. Having increased the field of view from the game's default of 60 to 75 probably isn't helping with my depth perception, but I don't really care. The only thing, like, with the, uh, the, the shields, it's basically fluid light or something stupid like that, whatever they call it. Uh, the only thing I have against that is, like, I would consider it to probably be perfectly balanced under, oh, uh, oh, what? Under the assumption that maybe power consumption, if you don't have enough power and something strikes it, it has, I think that'd be really cool. It, it could potentially penetrate because you don't have enough power to ward off the shot, basically. Uh, I suppose there's nothing really stopping me from, like, putting it in, playing with it, and then maybe, like, tearing down and deleting it and getting rid of it afterwards, but I'd rather not have to go that route. Okay, disassembly, full disassembly of all the things. I'm assuming I can't actually adjust... I, I'm... I think I have to adjust the mods from the other screen, and it won't affect uh, welding or, uh, no, what's the word I'm looking for? Grinding. Speeds. Just the assembly speeds. So the game will still have, like, slower bits. It's basically, uh, you could just say I'm overclocking my assembly. It also would be the difference between making ten assemblers and having one, but... And, you know, they did create the collaborative assemblers. And, you know, that would still make things considerably faster. I don't know. I might hold off on that until I get to test out the collaborative assemblers feature. Because... I might actually tell it to make an assembler just to ch check that out. There we go. And there's there's two ports there, so the refinery and that are hooked up. So then I just have to hook that up with a conveyor tube. Two of them actually. Uh, See, this is the only problem I have. For some odd reason, like, certain things aren't showing up right in the assembler, and ten times faster would help solve that, but then again, maybe disassembling, well, no, disassembling shouldn't make a difference, because, as you can tell, the collaborative feature is not available there, but. Uh, hmm. You know what, let's pull out these. Everything else should go fairly quickly. I'm in here. And all of these things except for the uh, solar cells should break down pretty quickly. Unfortunately, what a lot of the early parts of this are going to be, like once I get the grinder array, this won't even really be an issue. Because, you know, I'll be able to just basically FedEx a ship into it. And I did some testing in one of the other worlds.
because I had a grinding array. If you send something into a grinding array and it has containers, you do not need to empty the containers because uh, it will actually pull what it needs directly out, if that makes any sense. Or not pull directly. Uh, well, yeah, it'll pull it out as it's grinding it. Oh. So we've got uh, construction components, metal grids, tubes. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Suddenly outside of gravity. Whoops. Jetpack on. Alright, dude. Oh, that's the refinery. I mean, it technically doesn't really matter, but... You know, what does it take to make conveyor tubes? I'll need the angly bendy ones. It takes a steel plate to start it. Okay, let's just cut down more than the ship to acquire my steel plates. Blue takes bulletproof glass. But I don't think I actually need the bulletproof glass for the function. I'm gonna need... oops. That. That. Construction components and motors. Construction components I can deal with. That's really simple. Uh, actually, can I get... get motors and construction components like this. Not a whole lot of motors, but motors are motors. I'm gonna have your steel plates. What about you? Do you contain no motors? A small reactor. You should be able to access it probably. Yeah, here. It's got six motors. I wasn't paying attention, so I'm not entirely sure if that's enough, but I do want to pull out the uranium. I still need six motors. Did this kill the motors yet? Yes, it did. Nope. Uh, what about thrusters? No, no motors. And that's pretty much all that's left on here, so... Hmm. I'm going to need to assemble six motors. My power's getting low. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's what I wanted to do before, where I could just put everything into the uh, large cargo container, and then I could, you know, easily have access to things. So, well, more of it would I could throw everything in there, not have to worry about the actual space available in the uh, thing. because then it would automatically manage itself. So I can do stuff like this, and then 
yeah, you can see it's pulling things. So that's what I wanted originally, and what I was disappointed that it wasn't doing. So the fact that it's doing it now makes me quite happy. Tear it down. Tear it all down. Oop. Don't tear that down, it'll just fall to pieces on me. essentially just spent two episodes tearing down ships that I hijacked and not actually accomplished anything, but the thing is, it's either at this stage of the game, either I'm tearing down ships, which realistically I probably could have done the private sale off camera, but there was other things I was doing at the time, so it doesn't really matter, but the thing is, is I lost my train of it's either I do this or I mine. And either way, I'm going to be doing some menial task. But I have managed to fit things in that aren't completely, like, pointless and stupid. So, where is that? Where did those land? Here. Batteries have a seriously heavy component. The, uh, the power cells are extremely heavy. But, this is another one of those blocks I did a tiny bit of testing with. And, what I had tested was the fact that if you, uh, hook something, if you hook a ship up via a merge block, right? So say you go out, you make an array of you know, like solar panels or something, right? You put a whole bunch of battery blocks on there, but then put a merge block, you can bring in a ship that has a merge block. Unfortunately, the ship has to be of the same size. So you would have to make a, you know, an array of solar panels, a very large array of solar panels, using a small ship base, if you want to dock a small ship. And after you do that, you can charge the batteries of a small ship for free while it's just sitting there, you know, gaining power from the solar array when you're not in the process of actually using it. But, you know, with, the, with that comes the downside of, you know, it takes up a lot of space, it has to be in the sun. I mean, realistically, I, if I was going to do that, I'd probably want to make it as some sort of, like, station or something. Now, you can pretty much make a station anywhere. Like, if I had a steel plate, I could just put it anywhere. And I could anchor the ship to that. But, I don't know. That takes a little bit of work to accomplish. I was gonna sit here and it's gonna break down construction components, which I don't understand why they take so long to make or destroy. I don't know if I want something that makes stuff faster. I don't know if I want them ten times faster. I think I just want balance in terms of like time to craft across them. Like, why do construction components take so long to craft? That's what I don't understand. Like, they take longer to crash and break down than thruster components, which you think would be more complicated and take longer. I don't know. I do know that we're getting about there. I might. I wonder 
If I were to turn up to extreme, I'll do this next time, so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, I actually have a really good frame rate, and I'm wondering if I were to turn it up to extreme, if it would, like, hurt me much. Because I had it on extreme once before, and I was trying to stream, and, well, my internet's been really weird lately, so I haven't been able to stream, but it didn't hurt my performance the whole time I had the preview going. And that was, you know, CPU encoding. My recordings now are actually done via uh, my video card using the NVIDIA encoder because I have a video card that supports that now. And so I have basically zero performance loss, which is why I'm recording in 1080p. Granted, my video quality, one could argue whether or not it's 1080, but it's hard to tell because I just realized the discoloration I see in the videos on in the darkness that's actually part of the game the game has its own discoloration like the the uh, compressed video I guess is the word I'm looking for or rendered or whatever it has you know a little bit of quality loss but the issue it's receiving is actually part of just about any game's darkness I don't know maybe it's my monitor I have no idea uh, I didn't really accomplish a whole lot. I stole another private sale, and I built the conveyor system, although I need some bulletproof glass to be 100% complete. But what are you gonna do? How much is still in the large cargo container? Oh, there's a lot of crap in there. I might make... What does it take to make assembly? I need a steel plate to start it. I can do that. Actually, no. I want this on top. That's why this was positioned this way. Motors, small steel tubes, construction environments, computers. I don't know how I feel about this. Computers, construction components, tubes and displays. So I need eight motors, four displays, and thirteen computers. What I actually want to do here is I want to move these over here so I don't confuse myself. You know, there's an easier way to go about this. But yeah. Okay, I would like to produce 13 of those, uh, four displays, six motors. Is that what it was? Eight motors. I was slightly off. Okay, one, two. Drag those over and let's go back to disassemble. Now, this should be hooked in via the conveyor system as well now. So, I should be able to set it to cooperative mode because why not? Is it creating or destroying? That doesn't seem right. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to disable cooperative mode, because when it comes down to disassembling, it seems really broken. In fact, I'm beginning to wonder if maybe assemblers themselves are a bit more But, we have reached the 
the 30 minute mark, which is going to be the average length of my videos. Uh, conveniently, because I'm using OBS to record, I have a nifty little timer on it. That's a built on feature, so hooray! So, uh, I'm going to call this good, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.